all use some unity right now. And Papa Pope himself, Joe Morton, is on a mission to do it. The stage and screen actor is using music to heal and bring us together in his powerful new song, Wake Up America. And we are so excited to catch up with him now. Hi. Hi. Let me tell you, I love this song. I not only love it because of the lyrics, but is it true that you've been working on this for two years? It is. I mean, we started putting the song together about two years ago, off and on. And then we put the video together literally in about two and a half weeks um, because we got to the point where the music was finished and all the elections were coming up and we wanted to get done with things quickly. It really is pretty incredible and the messaging behind it is so powerful. I wonder if, okay, so you've been working on this on and off for two years, but with everything that's been going on in the world, was there an urgency at some point to say, you know what, let's let's focus on this and get this done? Yeah, uh, both when we started, um, but then you know what happens is uh, we changed lyrics along the way, we changed music along the way to make it more powerful or whatever it was we needed. We had to change the visuals along the way. That was really the rush part. The idea behind the song is to say, look, the only way we can get something done, the only way we can heal the ills that this country seems to be suffering from is for all of us to get united. And the only way for us to become united is to start a conversation. We have to start talking to one another to de uh, uh, define what the problems are. Because if you can't define the problem, then you can't solve the problem. That's so true. Something else that you're involved in is Between the World and Me on yes. HBO. Wow. Based on a letter that ta Coates wrote in 2015 to his teenage son. This one is really, really powerful and star-studded. Tell the folks who don't know about this, what are they going to see? What is this about? So Between the World and Me is primarily, as you say, a very long letter that ta Coates wrote to his son when his son turned 15. And it basically talks about two things. One, the number of unarmed young Black men who were shot down by white policemen. And also, um, Tanahashi Coates' um, career at Howard University and how he met his wife and how his son was born. Um, and then putting those two things together, because finally what happens is, as you may be aware of, is there's that thing called the talk that Black families have with their Black sons uh, and sometimes with their Black daughters saying, look, you know, when you go out into the world, you cannot, you know, be uh, arrogant or aggressive or, or belligerent when the police stop you, because the police have the authority, unfortunately, over your body. Um, and I think that's what this story, that's what this book, that's what this film is trying to impart. And I'm, my hope is that it will impart some knowledge to both sides of the color line, that for white folks who don't understand what that is, that they'll get a glimpse into what it means to be black in this country today, not 50 years ago, not slavery, not any of that, but today. Plus the fact that I think for black folks, it is what happens and what we have within us if we come together, if we unite. When you dive deep into things like this, I know for me personally, there are moments where I had to just take a step away because I, but for my mental health. For you, how does all of this impact you? On some level, it's exhausting um, when George, Floyd was killed. Uh, my youngest daughter was had been staying here in the house for the pandemic. And I think she at one point said to me, you know, she said, you don't seem very angry. And I said, I'm too exhausted to be angry. This is something I've gone through since I was a kid over and over and over and over again. And the exhaustion comes from nobody wanting, not wanting, but no one doing anything about it. And I can't let you get away without talking a little Justice League. Um, <laughs> How excited are you about that? I'm really excited about it. I thought uh, Zack Snyder's version of Justice League was real, really, really wonderful. So I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see it. Yeah, we are too. As always, it is great to talk to you. I want to let everybody know that they can get more information on where to listen and download Wake Up America by following Joe on social media. And Between the World and Me is on demand right now. Yes. Thank you, sir. As always, it is lovely to talk with you. Uh, thank you. A pleasure talking with you.